Hi, Russ Sallow here with GPS to go. I'm going to show you this brand new camera that we've got from the Surfsight company. This is a remarkable little device. Comes with the LCD screen. It has artificial intelligence built into it. Your front facing camera and your rear facing camera that are adjustable on the side. The device comes with a special little screwdriver anti-tamper where you can loosen that rotate these to fit the different angles so that you can see the road going forward and to see the driver plus the driver facing camera can be turned off if security or legal uh, reasons deem that fit that you don't want to record what the driver is doing you can make that choice night vision you can wake it up remotely it comes on the side with a place to put in your SD card for memory and you also can put your SIM card in there for cellular data for the connection. Very, very cool, impressive device. It's not big, but it has a lot of big features. So I'm going to show you how I have gotten this installed into my vehicle. So the kit comes for $7 with an onboard diagnostic port plug. So you can simply take this, plug it in under the dash. I've routed the power cable up through the side of my vehicle here. So if you can see up here, this is the 3M adhesive plate. I found the position where when I put this in, I can see the road and the rear facing camera can see me nice and clearly. So I cleaned that off with some glass cleaner. This will fit right in there. So that will just clip right into that. And I've put the power cable in a nice succinct spot. So once I've plugged that in, I've got this all nicely tucked up inside the headliner of my vehicle out of the way. What I've done with this is with those adjusting screws, I've angled the camera in the front so we can see the front. And then if I touch this for camera two, hello, it's Russ here, we can now see the driver. So you've got both forward and rear facing and the camera can be powered just like that with the onboard diagnostic port plug. The camera comes to you in the Surfsight box and some of the contents that you'll get Let's open that up in here. So again, you have your anti-tamper screwdriver that is used for adjusting the angles and opening up where the SD card and the uh, SIM card goes. Inside, we also have, if you so desire, this is the hardwire cable, power and ground, for those that want to not use the onboard diagnostic port. And then inside you have your booklet of instructions, your user guide that walks you through putting this all together. Plus you can call us at GPS to go, of course, and we'll take you through that. So when you turn this on, uh, you'll come to a main screen here. So in there we've got live view, recordings, exit, and then your settings. So if we're touching live view, we're gonna see the camera front and back as we talked about earlier. I can switch it to the inward facing camera. And now I can see myself holding this up. We can hit the back button. You can go into your settings. So now we can see that the camera is recording. We've got the white car telling us that the camera is on and operational. I can touch that takes us back. When you first set these up, you're able to set up your own passcode, but the beginning passcode is 3333, and it will take you right into the settings and everything else. Now, very interesting to note, look at this, we can see the infrared eyes. You can't see them when you look at them without this uh, cell phone recording, but I can see them there. And then we can start going into our recording screen and looking at the different recordings. If I push play, it will start showing us what we've been doing today. Something else that's available from Surfsight 
is we have this uh, tamper resistant end for the device. So you can put the camera facing the driver out through these holes and it will stop people from being able to reach in and unplug the power cable. So the uh, anti-tampering is something they've thought of. That's available as well. Mm -hmm.